Hello Captains, this is Metaman. As you can see, this is a Tier 10 battle. Myself and my clanmates, which is Kill You Walker and Spudbutt, are in Tier 8 ships in a Tier 10 match. Here I was trying to let my Montana take care of this Kerr first. I did not want to steal his kill, but after I seen he was going to die, I'm going to go ahead and get that kill. But this is kind of a beginner's guide to higher tier matches in cruiser play. Um, notice I'm going back towards my teammate here. I'm going to be helping with the airplanes. I'm going to get lucky and get the extra kills from the airplanes. Um, but I'm trying to support my clanmate here. But I feel that a lot of players are not um, playing specifically I'll go over uh, a video for each of the classes but in cruiser play especially from coming from lower tier or if you're normally an HE spammer which I'm using the Baird here which is known as a HE spammer um, we worry so much about damage and we worry so much about just accumulating that over a hundred thousand damage I'm wanting to show you in this match, watch how little damage I do and where I'm at on the XP board, and it's not even close. I did get that kill from that Curve First, which is a tier 10. Very little damage on him, but pay attention to my planes, pay attention to my kills, pay attention to my caps. In cruiser play, if you're talking to a battleship player, he wants you to, to clear the board of the DDs. He wants you to be his eyes in front of him. Um, DD is better for that uh, position, but after you isolate and you see there's only a few ships left on a side, I'm going to be moving up on DDs. Here I know the DDs in here. I'm going to be running a smoke. I know he's right in front of me. There wasn't even a reason for hydro. There's no way he's going to run away. He has to fire. There's nothing he can do about it. But watch. I'm not getting a ton of damage off this. I threw out that preemptive torp. Knew where he had to go. He was either going to go the other way or go this way. And if he went this way, he was going to eat a torp. He ate a torp. I ate one of his torps. But when you're specifically starting at tier 8, tier 8 begins high level play. And I'm not talking just high level skill play, I'm talking the game changes. People have more heals. People have more HP. Tier 9 and 10, you have awesome firepower. So you can be deleted really fast. And it's really easy to get caught up playing a cruiser as in playing defensive and just trying to farm. Or playing defensive and playing too safe and not supporting your team. And then your battleships are mad at you because you didn't help kill the DDs. So, at Tier 8, it really gets important to weigh your odds, weigh what you're going to do, as in, you want to support your team, but you don't want to, you're a glass cannon compared to Tier 10s. So, you want to do what you can do, but stay alive. Um, and watch the XP at the end of the game, what I get for these DDs. Um, as a cruiser, your main goal is DDs. It is not battleships. It is not farming 100, 150, 200,000 damage off those battleships. It looks nice in the replay, but a lot of times you don't even lead the XP board. I want you to, once again, pay attention to my damage at the end of the game. I'm going to end up with 22 plane kills, which a lot of players, if you get on the bandwagon you're gonna say how strong CVs are I play CVs I play I mainly play DDs so DDs or CVs are my main uh, enemy here take my time slow down throw off his aim a little bit I'm gonna run in or run towards him I knew that he had to adjust his uh, pattern it was gonna make his uh, torpedoes inaccurate all you have to do 
and it sounds easy but it's not that easy when you're a beginner is slow down and think about the things you're doing now I like this part of the game as in watch I'm having uh, torpedoes coming from behind me and I'm fighting a DD in front of me and as you play more games the game will slow down to you as in being able to multitask do multiple things at one time here I'm just avoiding his torps taking my time But you have to support your team. If you sit in the back and you just do damage, it might look nice with that 100,000, but pay attention to that XP board in the game and then you're wondering why you have 100,000 damage, but you're in the bottom third of the XP. The XP's there for a reason. I love defensive flags. I love anti-air um, achievements. But look, if you paid attention to this match, I skipped forward. The beginning part was a little slow. I did like 6,000 on D DDs before we got to here. But right here, I'm fighting. Uh, he's dropping bombs on me also. You notice I turned away so he couldn't port me. But I was having to turn away because the bombs were coming down. So I wanted to tee out, um, show an angle to when he was dropping bombs. But... It's a tough job. We want to be able to do a little bit in between of doing our damage, killing the DDs. That's our main purpose as a, a tier 8 cruiser, especially when you're at the bottom tier. Maybe if you're a, a Prince Eugen, you have that great hydro, but your main job is kill DDs. And you can fight other cruisers pretty well because of your, um, your heals and your armor. But that's what your job is. But if you look here, I'm going to end up with 22 plane kills, which everyone says how tough CVs are. They didn't look challenging me, did they? Uh, I changed my angles. I didn't give them good position to hit me. I ended up with three kills, two of them DDs. And watch where I end up on the XP board. This happens quite often, and I do it the same way in my Otago. I love those ships. Watch where I'm on the XP board. But this is Meta underscore Man 2002. Hopefully you got the message I was trying to throw out there. Um, it's not about damage. It's about supporting the team. Look at that XP. I crushed it on XP compared to the rest of the team. So this is Meta underscore Man 2002. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you like the tips, you guys have a great day.